What is good, Ape Nation? It's Stock J back with another video. And in this one, I'm going to be talking about the one and only AMC stock, what you should be looking out for for the future. I'm also going to do some in depth technical analysis and give you guys my price prediction for tomorrow based off what AMC is doing and based off what the charts are suggesting. I'm also going to break down the data for you guys, talk about what under the exchange volume is showing, how many calls are in the money. Now, all these things may affect AMC for tomorrow. Now, before I break anything down, before I give you guys my price prediction, I do have to mention a couple of things before starting. Firstly, I'm not a financial planner don't take any of this as financial advice and also if you guys can please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this it not only benefits me it benefits the entire ape community as a whole and the last thing is if you guys can please check out the mumu link down below and in the description if you sign up for mumu the link down below and deposit a hundred dollars into the account you're guaranteed 10 free stocks each worth up to two thousand five hundred dollars and the best part is out of the 10 free stocks five are going to come from the wheel right here so you could win five free tesla shares five free amc shares or a mix of all of them it's a limited time offer the offer ends in just two weeks check it out before they run out with that out of the way let's get on with the video so amc was up almost eight percent for the day made a monstrous move and if you look at the weekly candles it's looking very very good look at the last two weeks of amc this thing had a red week it dropped all the way down to the 14s just near the very end of July. And since then, this thing rocketed all the way up to 22 bucks. Then for this week, it hit a high of $27.50. And it looks like it might make a new high for it tomorrow. It's looking very strong right now. So I want to kind of break this down for you guys and talk about why I think AMC might actually make a new high, why AMC is looking very bullish, and what the chart is essentially telling us. So if we look at the overall volume, right now it's not looking necessarily bad. 70 9 million so we did see a bit of an improvement compared to yesterday if you look at the short volume percentage once again another um it, it went up just a little bit over the last few days but i do expect this to actually drop a bit as we are seeing those with, who are bulls gaining the edge and it's actually becoming a war between the bulls and the shorts you're noticing that the shorts do not like amc running up if you look at the overall volume 57% of trades are on off-late exchanges. Once again, pretty high for AMC standards. It used to be like 50 to 54% before. So the shorts are just trying to keep this thing down. On top of that, there is something very good I'm seeing. Now, although there is a limited amount of uh, shares available to borrow, and they're actually shorting ETFs more to bring AMC down, which is a little bit surprising relative to before. But what I'm seeing is look at the call option chain. Check this out right here. There are barely any puts in the money, tons of puts out the money. But as far as calls go, it's almost balanced between calls in the money and calls out the money. We have 90,000 in the money, 115,000 out the money. But if we get a big push tomorrow, a huge push, if it comes, this could actually turn into a different number. This could actually be over 120,000, 150,000. Hopefully, I'd like to see an, a very, very big change. And that would be a good sign for next week if we do get some gamma in there. So it all depends on tomorrow. I really hope AMC makes a nice move. As of right now, those that are out, out of the money are kind of like a little bit on top, but I'm, I'm still pretty optimistic and hopeful she's going to make a good move. So what I noticed is, if I zoom out of the charts, what happened to AMC was interesting, all right? So she was essentially pushing up today. Look at this chart. She dropped to like 20.73, slowly started to push up, and she started to rock it. Going to yesterday up until today, she rocketed all the way up to $26.08. Nice move. Then she got kind of like rejected off 26 and pushed all the way down to 24 flat. After 24, she got a nice bounce. That was a very good call buying opportunity. She pushed up and you could see AMC was struggling to break past 25.5. They kept trying to smack her down whenever she was trying to break it. It took quite a bit of time. It took a few hours for her to break past that and eventually eventually she did it she broke past 25.5 then she started to push she was just testing it back and forth for many hours i mean it was pretty crazy and finally near the end of the day we got a nice push big volume spike right the volume went up and we saw this thing out of nowhere push all the way up to 26 dollars and three cents very close to the high of the day we almost made it and then they smacked her down a bit in the last like 30 minutes she ended up closing at about 25.46 once again still green almost eight percent but you could see they don't like her going up it's a fight and what i'm seeing right now is she's doing very well for her to have held and closed almost at 25.5 is a good sign and for us to see setups like this looks very good so let me now close some indicators just real quick i want to actually talk about the pattern we're essentially seeing by AMC. So right here, right off the bat, you can see this looks like an inverse head and shoulders. Nice push up just like this. 
And you could also argue this looks like a cup and handle. And the handle might actually, if she breaks past, I think this is where the key zone is. I just remember it from my memory. It was like 26.93. Let me show you it. Around there, 26.93, 26.95, whatever. If she breaks that, you guys can see right here, the resistance. If we're going to break out past that, this thing has the potential to skyrocket all the way to the 30s, in my opinion. Let me show you what this setup would look like. So for the inverse head and shoulders, you can kind of see it right here. It actually respected that pretty well, got a nice push off that. And you could also argue that she formed what's essentially like a giant, giant cup right here. See how the cup looks? We got a handle. We started to break out. So I, I'm really hoping tomorrow we break, uh, I'm sorry, we start to fight for 16 bucks. And I think we could actually break past 16. I really think we could. And the question is, are we going to break 16.95, 16.93? Because if we break that, if we get a nice break above that, there's a good opportunity. This thing is going to test like 27.5. That's not as significant in my opinion. She could break that. But she has the potential to go all the way up to 28. The 28's tomorrow. If she gets a huge move, there's a lot of FOMO. Everyone starts buying and pushing up. This thing could move between 28, maybe as high as 30, but I'm not going to go that high. 28 range i think she could actually do that if we get a really really nice push hopefully a close around 27 to 28 i think we could see amc in the 28 i really think we could that's another uh, resistance area at least in the past that used to be our support zone so now it's going to act as resistance but the big thing i'm watching for is a break a, a break and hold above 16.93 because if we break that breaking past 27 point uh, five isn't as significant as breaking past 26.95, 26.93 in my opinion. And I think she could do it. Nice cup and handle forming. You could also argue that this is an inverse head and shoulders. So if I were to make the chart like longer or a little bit taller, you guys could see it. The head right here, we got a shoulder, shoulder, push up, push up. And I'm, I'm seeing this like head and shoulders that was completed, followed by a nice cup and handle. So it's like two and one. So we also gapped up a few days ago. We actually filled the gap already. Nice bounce. Strong. We got a big volume spike from the very beginning. Drop down. We got another big spike into close. So the overall volume is a little low. It's not super high, as high as I want it to be. We really want to see this thing break to like $40 a share, $35 a share. We're going to need super high volume. That's the way to do it. If we see insane volume, we might just get that break. This thing might go to, you know, 30, 40, 50 a share if we get insane volume. If we start getting those 150, 200, 300 million days. So far, our volume was at, let me see, 79 million for the day. Not bad, not necessarily bad, but it's definitely one hell of an improvement. Now, looking at other technical indicators, let me just talk about these real quick. On this RSI, what you'll notice is this is actually showing some signs of bearish divergence because the RSI went all the way up here on the 15 minute. It dropped down, pushed up a little. I'm not too worried about that. On our MACD, a little bit of the opposite. I'm going to use a bigger time frame though. It's very similar to what we saw earlier. Uh, right here, it still is making a, a pretty decent move. It is kind of tracking the chart. Strength, it, the relative strength decreased a little bit towards the end. I still think it has potential. And I'm not too worried about that because I'm still very bullish. On the MACD, check this out. We got a crossover right here. So we did slow down here at the very end, but it does look like it's going to continue to push. So AMC is like a momentum play. We, we're building the momentum. It wants to go. People are excited. They're becoming bullish. So it might actually start to see a nice push to the upside. The last thing I want to do is check the five minute. And right now, so since we were dropping the RSI cold off, right? From this zone right here, we're starting to respect an uptrend like this. So I want to see a continuation of this. I want to see AMC push up. What I think, hold on, let me fix this. What I think is going to happen is 
We're going to get a repeat of what we saw today. We're going to get a big push into open. Maybe it's going to touch 28. It's going to cool off for a few hours. Then for the last like two hours, it's going to push up very hard. And we're going to try to get back into that 28 range if we could actually break and hold above 26.95. Right, that's a key zone. I think I'm going to be optimistic. I'm going to predict she could do it. AMC likes to fight. She never gives up. And what I'm going to pay attention to is the options chain. How many calls end up in the money? What are the institutions doing? Are they going to dilute this with manip manipulation? You know, the same thing that they've been doing over and over again. Anyways, thank you all for listening. Have a great rest of the day. Get ready for tomorrow. It's going to be a big day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. AMC to the moon because the long-term future is very bright. And peace out.